How's it going guys? I haven't posted in a couple days and uh, I did get some messages. You guys are awesome. Uh, you were asking, why haven't you posted? It's been a while. You know, I'm just, uh, I've, I've kind of been preaching for you guys to send me questions and to be completely honest with you, I got overwhelmed because it's crazy. I have so many questions now. Like, I don't even know where to start. It's insane. Um, you guys are awesome though. This is, I love helping fish keepers and that's what I love to do. I just said that. Anyhow, um, as per usual, this is the predator tank here and they are hungry. Let me tell you, I've been doing this schedule of uh, feeding them every other day, but feeding them like super rich foods. Like um, I've been mostly doing tilapia, cut up tilapia, mix in with some high quality pellets. So God, look at that. Look at him. He's just epically awesome see if i can get a good view see if i can get him to turn here this red devil is getting massive i mean this just shows you my hand here this doesn't even do justice because um and he's gonna thicken up too what's cool about red devils is they get super thick um anyhow it's been a minute now and i haven't even got to the topic of this video uh anyways Today's topic is keeping catfish with Oscars. Uh, I, I get asked this one all the time because people want um, a catfish to essentially help clean the algae in the tank or else clean up uh, the fish poop at the bottom of the tank. I know that sounds stupid and it is stupid if you are a, uh, a, a an experienced fish keeper, sorry to say, because plecos don't eat poop, nothing eats poop, in aquariums that's stupid okay but let's talk about keeping catfish with Oscars and I, I keep on saying plecos because that's the most common one people always ask me can I have a pleco in my Oscar fish tank and the answer is always going to be a no for me because it's not that Oscars are such predators to where they will just ravenous kill them in a ravenous way uh, Oscars what they're known for and have problems with is becoming bored like uh they just when they get bored in the tank they just destroy everything and if you've had oscars for uh, a good time you will know this because you will come home and your tank is destroyed like uh as you can see in this tank all these fish they move all of all of this decor around all the time they literally will move massive rocks i'll come home their lips are ripped up from just having big rocks. I'll be sitting on my laptop over there and they'll be uh, dropping, they'll put a big rock in their mouth and drop it at the bottom. They'll have me scared like they're gonna crack this six foot tank. Uh, fish get bored. You can see right now, this jag, his mouth is all beat up because he likes to screw with everything in the tank. And this is the same with Oscars. Uh, so what happens with these catfish, they're so bored, uh, you know they're just screwing around with things and they go whoa what the heck is that and I'm gonna they just start picking at it you know then then the pleco swims away and hides again but uh, they chase these things down I, I have tried multiple plecos and catfish in the Oscar fish tank and had had them last for a year even two years but it always ends bad so um, and this is a question asked in Oscar fish keepers all the time, which by the fact I'm admin of, uh, it's just a bad idea. And I'm guessing a lot of you guys are keeping plecos with Oscars. Sorry, I'm up chucking my food or something. Oh, I just had a pizza. I'm guessing a lot of you have effectively kept Oscars, uh, plecos with Oscars, but there will come a time when you come home and that thing will be dead, mark my words. And I, I've talked to a lot of other people about this and it's just a bad idea. Uh, if you get on oscarfish.com, one of the biggest communities online, they say, I looked it up, that you can only keep a pleco in an Oscar fish tank if it's 18, or no, if it's like 14 inches and above. So that's pretty insane. I wouldn't even, a, a pleco of that size looks like a freaking piece of wood sitting in your tank. So that's probably why the Oscars, you know, they can't kill it. So, um, kind of a odd video. I, I've been babbling a lot, but keeping catfish with Oscars is a bad idea. Um, let's, let's look at the fish some more. 
These fish are hungry and I'm going to feed them. I think I'm gonna knock out some videos this weekend, get back in the groove. I kind of took a couple days off. Uh, just been sort of worn out essentially. I've had a lot of things going on in my groups. Um, beta fish keepers you guys might know I am the admin of and uh, I there was kind of an uprising of the mods I toned back all the rules because they were getting insane with rules like uh, no posting certain gifts uh, we were private messaging people giving warnings etc and anyways I just uh, we lost some mods but uh, I wanted to I, I want it to be a normal fish group. Yes, there's gonna be chaos, there's gonna be cussing, there's going to be harassment, but that's what a normal fish group is full of. So uh, it's just too hard to keep up. I don't wanna police everyone. And okay, I'm babbling. Uh, on to the next vid. Oscars, do not keep catfish in your Oscar tanks. Woo.